Hi, I'm Paris, here to talk to you about insect repellents. Not the most exciting topic, but this year I think it's one you may really want to pay attention to. Epic review, guys. Last night I was out watering the garden. I got my first mosquito bite of the year, which means it's time to start using these repellents. Now, Consumer Reports did a study of top mosquito repellents and how well they work against the Aedes mosquito. That's the type of mosquito that carries Zika virus, West Nile virus, dengue fever, a whole bunch of scourges of mankind. And so because it's a public service type thing, they actually released the results of those publicly. You don't have to subscribe to get those results. And I'll put a link to that right down below this video. Based on Consumer Reports ratings, I went out and bought the top three mosquito repellents. They're each different from one another. You have your traditional DEET repellent. For people who have concerns about the safety of that, especially putting it on their kids, there's a picaridin type repellent, which I'm also supposed to work very well, endorsed by fishermen, and they should know about getting mosquito bites. The one that we've used most is um, this one. It is a lemon eucalyptus, which you would think, well, it doesn't have any really strong chemical. How is that going to repel the mosquitoes? When we went to the fair a few weeks ago, my daughter got a little bit of this in her eye, or she rubbed it into her eye, and I got a little bit of it in my mouth. And I can tell you, if mosquitoes have any effect from this like we do, I understand why they wouldn't bother to stay around and bite you. So these are the Consumer Reports top three mosquito repellents, especially for the type of mosquito that carries those viruses. I'll have, the, again, the link to the report about these down below the video, also a link to each of these three. A couple of them were really hard to track down, and I'll tell you briefly about my experience with mosquito-borne viruses and why I think you really do need to take the warnings this year seriously. Before saying anything medical, I will tell you I am not a doctor, I am not a scientist, but I do have some firsthand experience because my daughter was infected by West Nile virus about 10 years ago now, and um, it most people who were infected by it when it was spreading very rapidly didn't even know. They thought they had some virus, maybe they had a fever, um, felt like they had the flu, went away after a few days. But a small percentage, about one out of every 100 to 150 people who were bitten by that mosquito and contracted West Nile virus, the virus was able to pass through the blood-brain barrier and get in to do things in your brain and in your spinal cord. And in her case, it attacked the motor nerves that led to her right arm and left her arm completely paralyzed. It did some other upper body weakness things as well, which through a year of physical and occupational therapy, she was able to recover a lot from, but her right arm remains paralyzed and they don't have a fix for that. You may remember 10, 12 years ago that West Nile virus was big in the news because it spread very quickly because people didn't have any immunity to it. It had come across from Africa and now we have the Zika virus doing the same thing, which has spread so quickly through Central and South America. And now that mosquito season is starting here in the north, it's possible that we'll see a widespread outbreak of it here as well. Now with the West Nile virus, if you were going to have the symptoms like my daughter had, they showed up um, within a couple of weeks after you were infected. So there, if it was going to happen, it was going to happen relatively quickly. With the Zika virus, as I'm sure you've heard in the news, the problem is you may be infected with it, you may not even show symptoms of it, but if you happen to be pregnant, that it can damage the developing brain of the child. So that outcome has the potential to be very tragic. In addition, there are some reports, they're still working on this, of people who've had immediate neurological effects um, from Zika virus as well. So it's not something that you want to take lightly, not something that you want to say, well, I'm a guy, or I'm not of childbearing age, I don't have to worry about it. I think everyone should be worrying about it. There is no vaccine against it. There's really nothing you can do except try to limit your exposure to mosquitoes. Keep the mosquitoes out of your neighborhood as much as you can. Don't leave the standing water, all of those typical rules. But your best defense is going to be diligence when you go out to use a repellent. So let me tell you about my experience with these three. First of all, these all sell for about seven to $10, but they're tricky to find. So um, your best bet might be to shop for them online. The repellent we've been using when we've been going out is this repel lemon eucalyptus. And as I mentioned, get a little in your eye, a little in your mouth, and you'll know why it drives the insects away. It has a, 
a, a lemony smell to it. Um, not something really offensive, except hopefully to the bugs. But we've used this when we went to the fair, when we went hiking. A number of times, everyone in the family has sprayed that on. And perhaps you can see, we really haven't used much of it. So for 7 or $8, this will probably last us a year. This is the number two rated Consumer Report uh, mosquito repellent. It's uh, rated at an 87. The number one rated is this Fisherman uh, mosquito repellent by Sawyer. This is a, a smaller version of it. So clever they actually made it so um, it had three ounces so you could bring it on the airplane with you. So this is a pump and I have not opened this one yet. Let me see how it feels on the skin and how it smells. I don't think I've used this type of repellent before. Pretty much since my daughter had West Nile virus, we've stuck with DEET because that one seemed to always work the best, even though I know some people are concerned about other effects that can have on you. Boy, you wouldn't even know you're wearing anything. The, the smell is so faint. It just feels like water, really. A little bit, a little bit stickier. I'm not going to taste it. So if you don't want to go with DEET, this is actually the number one rated one by Consumer Reports, both in the effectiveness of keeping the mosquitoes away and in the number of hours that it remains effective on your skin. I think all of these are six to eight hours and then you need to reapply them. Now, if you want to go with DEET because you know it works, this um, is the highest rated one that Consumer Reports checked. It's 15% DEET. 15% is supposed to be enough to do the job. Let's see what this one smells like. If you like the aerosol better. Well, that's, that's not bad. I could use it as an aftershave, but it's burning my skin right now, I can tell you. Um, with the fan on low, I'm guessing it's the, the uh, propellant or the alcohol evaporating that's burning the skin. But people can be sensitive to this. You, it's better to put it on. Um, uncovered skin and actually to put it on the outside of your clothes spray some over your pants over your shirt because the bugs will bite through there I waited a couple of minutes for this to dry and I can tell you they feel fine they didn't um, get sticky there's no rash on them so you would hardly know that you're wearing them once they've dried as for buying them that was the tricky part I originally went to uh, Academy outdoor store here in North Austin and I thought oh I'll find all three especially since of the top three rated by consumer reports but no the one that I found there was this repel lemon and eucalyptus so then I went to REI REI also had this and they had the Sawyer the top rated one but they didn't have this one so um, I went online at that point I'm not gonna drive around town looking for this target Target has this Repel um, scented family formula with the DEET, but they don't have it where they originally sent me. The pharmacist sent me to a section of um, insect repellent over by the sunscreen, but that isn't where they keep the strong stuff. The strong stuff, you have to go into the camping and camping gear part of Target, and that's where I was able to find this. Whether you go to the store to pick these up or whether you order them online, I just strongly urge you to get something or take a look at that consumer reports list. If there's something else you're looking for in an insect repellent, maybe you want more DEET. Well, they have some of those reviewed as well. So check that out and pick something. Don't just assume this will all blow over and nothing much will come of the Zika virus in the United States. If that happens, it would be great. But if you've gone out and bought insect repellent and used it very diligently this year, this mosquito season, at least you don't have the irritation of all those mosquito bites to deal with. And you can rest a little easier knowing what you've done to reduce the chances of something more tragic. Hope you get outside and have a great spring and summer. I'll be doing more outdoor product reviews soon. You can keep checking back for those or you can click that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified when our videos go up. See you on the next review. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, we give stuff a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.